Started holding them. And away they go now, so sweet down towards the inside, got away well. And a regal distinction is prominent, followed further back in the field, Matcham and Delightful Miss is showing speed. And when they sort themselves out, Delightful Miss is just the leader on the outside of so sweet down towards the inside. Now Tabloid runs to third, followed then by Regal Distinction. And back behind those then we have uh, Snoop who's running about fifth. A further break behind those in the field, Piper's Game, followed by Fleur de Plume. Getting back in the field was Matcham, a long break behind those at the top, and a long break behind those Scoop as they race towards the turn and a long way back was Mr Turfman followed by Dancing Willow in the straight with about 400 metres to go it's so sweet down towards the inside just in front down the centre tabloid is coming with a big run followed then by Delightful Miss and further back behind those in the field out very wide running on was Piper's Game it's tabloid the leader uh, battling on well down towards the inside again is Delightful Miss and Delightful Miss reached the lead again now and as they get down towards the line it's Delightful Miss just in front and Delightful Miss holds on Delightful Miss first now tabloid is second third at the top followed further back in the the field then came Snoop a break behind those Dancing Willow followed by So Sweet then Regal Distinction back behind those Matcham followed by Piper's Game back in the field and a long break behind those then came Scoop and the last pair Fleur de Plume and Mr Turfman and past the post at Goulburn in the first number three delightful miss $4.90 and $2 on the New South Wales TAB bit better Super Tab in Queensland five sixty the win Super Tab $5.35 in Queensland. Number nine, Tabloid has run second. A New South Wales place dividend of $2. And number 12 at the top, $10.90. Three, nine and 12, the placings uh, at Goulburn. As the runners go to the line, I'll be back uh, after setting the pace with the late bar. Oh, a good level start. Cocky Raider out wide got away well and in the centre Tennant Creek is showing speed. Chairman Jude will head them all off followed then by Rise and Style getting up along the inside. Not too far away was Cito Chances followed by Chairman Jude who's going up towards the lead. Dripping, drifting back a bit in the field in Barley's Boy followed by Marisan and Select Speed is last of all on settling down as they race down the side and it's a good race for the lead where Curious Cove in the centre just leads Rise and Style. A close third Chairman Jude further back behind those then on the inside rail. Tennant Creek and a break behind those then Grey Command off the track gaining ground was Cocky Raider back behind those in Barley's Boy then Cito Chances well back was Marison as they race towards the turn at a long last was Select Speed but as they sing around the home turn and Curious Cove is the leader about three or four off the rail Tennant Creek is running on fairly well in behind those then Rise and Style followed in by Cocky Raider putting in a run and back behind those Marison followed by Grey Command but Cocky Raider at the 200 and Cocky Raider broke away hands and heels down towards the inside Tennant Creek is battling on followed by Curious Cove and the next one was Marisan it's Cocky Raider the leader but here's Tennant Creek right up along the inside Tennant Creek finished far the better and Tennant Creek won by about a half a length over Cocky Raider Curious Cove is third in behind those then Cito Chance is followed by Marisan back behind those then Select Speed a long break then in the field Grey Command followed further back then Imbali's Boy then Chairman Jude and the last one was Rise and Style thanks Tony with the winner there number five Tennant Creek uh, the shortest way is the quickest way home. Four dollars and a dollar forty in New South Wales. Uh, better though, six eighty on Super Tab, five twenty Queensland. Number eight, Cocky Raider, uh, two dollars ten, and number nine, Curious Cove, three dollars fifty. Five, eight, and nine. The place. Sixty-five Mull of Marengo, sixteen Quality, seventy-two for Shinquis, and thirty-six Flaming Jane. Tips from Tony Campbell. Canny Bell on top, number one. From two, All Saints and six, Bezalel for third. One, two and six. The Phillies and Mares are uh, behind the barrier for race number three at Goulburn. Now the rest of the tips for the day. In the fourth, it's number three, Resistible. From four, Marimbula Flyer and seven, Academy Gold. Three, four, seven in race number four. In the fifth event, number one, Cherokee Miss on top. From number three, Namatilla and Torgori is the danger. One, three, seven as they move in for race three. Over to race six, number three, Breezette. From two, High Ace and five, Gold Air. Three, two and five in race six. The seventh race, number nine, Star Clip. From ten, Star of Windsor. And four, So Is Winning. Nine, ten, four. The top three chances in the seventh. In the eighth, number four, Ben Bow. From one, Monodan and uh, Gonzia Fai Che. Four, one, five in race eight at uh, Goulburn. Boy. 
Race nine, Baron Brown from Superior Step and Some Shot, eight, two and five in the ninth. And the final event, race 10, number 10, Precious View from One Night Lark and Paddington Time for third, 10, one and nine. They're Tony Campbell selections for Goulburn, where they are moving in pretty well for race number three. The favourite is All Saints at $3.30. Now, Port Macquarie selections from Dick Hillard, Canterbury Miss in the fourth, from four, Darry's Boy, and Sprightly Light for third, seven, four, ten in the fourth. In race number five, it's one, Beautiful Breeze, from two, Family Shot, and three, Victory Quest, one, two, and three in the... With the uh, Crown Moss. Now, stand by for a start. The light is blinking. Starter goes up. And away they go. Now slowly away was Muller Moringa who missed it by about two lengths and uh, Best Wishes is back second last. A good race for lead. Shinquas is up in that leading group and uh, All Saints is driving through and uh, further back behind those Amada Gay and not too far away in the field was Bezalel as they sort themselves out and uh, race down the side. Light Dawn's bursting through as the leader now. Light Dawn leads. Uh, Bezalel is second. All Saints third and then Shinquas. In behind those Quality followed by Amada Gay and Kenny Bell is running about sixth. A length or so behind those Dapto followed by Moss and Dart. My Blue Heavens on the outside, worse than Setterfield, followed then by Flaming Jane. Getting well back in the field as they race up towards the turn, being Crown Moss and further back behind those Mull of Moringo. As they swing for home, they've got about 425 to go. Light Dawns is the leader. On the outside, Bezalel is running on fairly well. In behind those Quality, further back in the field. Then came Amada Gay and a long break behind those. Running on well was Kenny Bell down the centre. And Dapto is the widest runner, but now All Saints has raced to the lead. At the 200, All Saints under the whip is the leader. Kenny Bell is trying trying hard, followed by Amada Gay, and Bezalel is still there down towards the inside, but All Saints draws clear. Kenny Bell moves to second near the line. All Saints, Kenny Bell, they hit the line. All, oh, All Saints held on. All Saints has just beaten Kenny Bell. Third, uh, Amada Gay, followed further back in the field, then came Best Wishes, then Moss and Dart. Bezalel, a break behind those in the field. Uh, My Blue Heaven, followed by Dapto, Flaming Jane, Light Dawn's pulled up very quickly. Then Quality, further back to Mull of Moringo, and a long break behind those in the field, Shin was who was back there and uh, Crown Moss pulled up very quickly after crossing the line. Number two, All Saints, $3.20 and $1.50. It's a good go, but All Saints looks to have got it. Kenny Bell, $1.40 and Armada Gay at $2.60. That's a winner for Neil Payne. All Saints having its second start today. 2 one eleven they'll be on race number three at uh, Goulburn. Now some divvies at Port Macquarie on race three. Number eight, Papal City, 2.50 and 1.10. Seven, Mr Inquisitive, 3.40 and four, Real Goer at $2.40. The Quinella was eight. Oh, there's one. Trying to get the head over the top of the gates. They're racing a good level start. River Wild went back to the tail of the field. And Resistible burnt to the lead when they hit the ground, followed by Zimitar running second. Far away Hart is third, followed by Marimbula Flyer getting up along the inside. At a length and a quarter then, River Wild at the tail of the field. But there's only about four lengths covering first and last. As they leave the back and race down the side, 750 metres to go. The favourite Resistible on the inside doing it well, about a long neck in front of Far Away Hart. Two behind those, Marimbula Flyer ahead of fourth on the outside was Zimitar. At a Length and a quarter at the tail of the field, River Wild, and repeating the late scratching was Academy Gold. Up towards the turn they race now, race for Goulburn, they've got about 500 to go, and Resistible is the leader in second place, far away Hart, they're well clear, Marimbula Fly is running third, followed by Zimitar and River Wild, but around the turn inside the 400 metre mark, and Resistible shaken up as the leader, the rider looking very, very confident, raced away Resistible, about two in front of far away Hart, further back behind those Zimitar, followed then by River Wild, and Marimbula Fly, but uh, this uh, favourite doing it very well, hands and heels, it's well clear Resistible, out about three in front trying hard was far away hard but it's all resistible there's no danger and resistible an easy winner resistible first a long margin in second place was uh, far away hard followed then by river wild marimbula flyer zimitar last and the scratching at the barrier was uh, academy gold number three the winner resistible a dollar sixty a dollar thirty far away hard three dollars even and no dividend for horse 11 river wild but that was a cakewalk, a very easy win, Resistible. There's now ooh, one about, let's have a look, 10 starts now. Very consistent. 10 starts, four wins, three seconds and a third. Trained at the era by Keith Watt. Mark Newnham, the winning rider, is raced by the estate of the late A.S. Wilton and Mrs. E.M. Watt. A four-year-old brown mare by River Ruff out of Ladapa and lightly raced 10 starts now, four wins, three seconds and one third. It won with a lot in hand. Uh, battling on was a faraway heart, trained by Miffy Ray at Queenbeyan. Andrew Gibbons, 
and what was third or oh, number 11 river wild it's trained at maria by mark mcdonald ray silburn now the details three nine eleven five lengths by a length and a half 108 71 108 71 and we'll have more from goulburn in just a moment She's certainly winning very well. She won at Galbin three starts back by two lengths in a class one. Then she moved up to the class two at Maruya and won but that by four lengths. And the, the winning margin today would be pretty impressive too. And she loves the wet, this filly irresistible. She's now had four starts in wet going for three wins and one minor placing. So she's, uh, she's a nice type resistible. And Mark Newnham, the winning rider, just repeating that Academy Gold didn't get a start number seven. Academy Gold was a late scratching at the barrier. She certainly firmed up then, uh, resistible. $1.60 is the dividend you will receive. Now, moving on. Port Macquarie race five coming up in five. Beautiful breeze at 3.10. Family shot. I had two from the outsiders to Gorey. This is race five as the starter approaches the ladder, goes up now, they're set. Gates open now. Winston Spell down towards the inside got away well, and Outsarts is looking for the lead. Slowly away was Gently Brave. Now Numatella goes up behind the leaders, and further back behind those Baroness Axby, followed by Tagori. Oh, there's a good charge for the leaders. They make that first turn and swing down the back of the track. After sorting themselves out, Numatella leads about a long neck in front. Baroness Axby second. Caught three wide, easing back a bit now as Tagori running third, followed then by Gasinski, who's race uh, on the inside there, uh, running about fourth at this stage. Winston Spell further back behind those. Then our Sartre. A length and a half back centre field next was Cherokee Miss settling down well. Gently Braves on the outside and then Gasinski a further break in the field. Uh, then Tolstoy's best followed further back behind those Nedamorado second last. And last of all was Genghis Girl. As they leave the back and race down the side, New Matilda the leader length in front. Now Baroness Saxby running second followed then by Cherokee Chai going, Cherokee Miss it is, going up on the outside to make a line of three almost. Further back behind those starting a run out wide was Tagori followed then by our well back was Gently Brave followed by Tolstoy's back and Gasinski giving the leaders a big start as they swing for home followed by Neta Murata who's well back and further back behind those Winston Spell in the straight as they race down with about 350 metres to go and Cherokee misses raced away with a handy lead Cherokee misses going very very strongly down the outside Gently Brave's running on followed by Tolstoy's best and the next one was Tagori but it's all Cherokee miss Cherokee miss is making a one act affair of this race and Cherokee miss wins it very very easily indeed he's down by a big space. Cherokee Miss first, Tagori second, our Sartre third. In behind those, Tolstoy's best, followed then by Neto Murato. The next one was Gently Brave, followed by Gasinski. A long break behind those, New Matilda, the early leader, followed then by Baroness Saxby, Genghis Girl, and a long, long last Winston Spell. Cherokee Miss has bolted in. Number one, the winner, Cherokee Miss, 2.51.40. Seven, Tagori, $1.60. And 11, our Sartre, $4.70. But the favourite absolutely bolted in this race. Cherokee Miss, Neil Perryman, trained by Wayne Davey at Maria. A four-year-old bay mare by Table Lim Limits out of Lady Mulholland, raced by El Magnifico, K. Rollins, M. Bell, F. Crossy and Mrs. L. Vella in partnership. And the Cherokee Miss today having her 10th start. First win, of course, one second and two thirds prior to today's win in uh, the... Heggie's Bulk Hall, Port Kembla Maiden Handicap Division 1. one seven eleven. the numbers, one seven eleven, and we'll have more in just a moment. The Maria form's OK there today at Goulburn. That previous winner uh, prior to Cherokee Miss had also uh, gone OK at Maria uh, about two weeks ago on the 27th of July. It was uh, resistible, and now Cherokee Miss coming off a run at Maria has come out and shown them a, uh, well, more than a clean pair of heels has bolted in. Now they're in the mountain. Adam and Ang, the inside runner. Supreme Harvest drawn outside. 1,400 the journey, this is race 6 of 10. Gold Air's the favourite. High Ice stands up. And away they go. Now down towards the inside, Adam and Ang got away well. Now getting out fairly slowly was Scenery Grand. And as they race towards that first turn, going very quickly now, Gold Air has put the head in front and out very wide on the track was Mr Burns and Circuit Flight. In that group of horses, back behind those then, High Eyes followed further back behind those, Tudor Lover then Breeze Et. Uh, well back behind those as they sort themselves out was Supreme Harvest. And a break behind those in the field, then our Brave Heart. And uh, Scenery Grand is about third last. As they settle down and race down the back, this 
pair out in front are going Hilda Skelter. It's Mr. Burns on the outside, about a long neck in front of Gold Air, who's keeping it out from the inside. A break of about three or four behind those circuit flight, followed then by Ada Manang. A length and three quarters centre field behind those high ice as they race down the side. Well back, Breeze at, followed by Tudor Lover, then Supreme Harvest. Scenery Grand's on the outside. And a long last as they race down the side of the track was our Brave Heart. They've got about 550 metres to go, and again, Gold Air on the inside is the leader. About a half a length in front of Mr. Burns going wide. Further back behind those circuit flight, followed by Ada Manang, then High Ice. Breeze at, out wide is running on fairly well. Well back, Supreme Harvest, followed by Tudor Lover. And Scenery Grand is well back in the straight with about 350 metres to go. Gold Air is the leader, but out wide, Breeze at, is coming with a run now. In between those, then High Ice, further back in the field, Mr. Burns. But at the 200, and Breeze at, is race to the lead. Breeze at, kicked away from High Ice, followed then by Gold Air down towards the inside. But Breeze at, is well clear inside the final 50. There's no danger. Breeze at, too good. Breeze at, by about two over High Ice. Third in the race, Gold Air, followed by Circuit Flight. Then Supreme Harvest, a long break, Ada Manang. Further back behind those, then Scenery Grand, followed by Mr. Burns, Tudor Lover, second last. Now Braveheart was last. Breeze at the winner, number three, $4.70 for the win and $1.70 for the place. High ice, $1.60 and gold air at $1.30. So the numbers race six gold and should read three, two and five. Number three, the winner, Breeze at, trained by Mark Fraser Campen at Warwick Farm. Aaron Huke, the rider, is raced by Ms. N.M. and Miss W. Fraser. A four-year-old bay mare, vice regal out of Norma Ray. Now the second place getter, high ice, trained by Jack Jury at Hawkesbury. Craig Rickson, the rider there. A four-year-old chestnut mare, high regard, whiskey and ice. And five, gold air, trained by Ken Callaghan, Jamie Whitney. A four-year-old chestnut mare, air de France, out of gold standard. So the numbers are official, three, two, five, three, two, five. Number seven, circuit flight was fourth. And four, Supreme Harvest finished fifth. Now the winner scored easily, two and a quarter by three, two and a quarter by three, one thirty one oh five was the time. Breeze at 470, 170, high ice 160, gold air $1.30 as the winner returns following the running of race six at Golden. Righto, Tony, thanks. We're staying in New South Wales. There's a look at that. So it's winning.